What do we mean when we say momentum is conserved? Well, the principle of conservation of momentum states that the total momentum of an isolated system remains constant. And we're going to explore what this actually means with an example. You're an astronaut on a spacewalk outside your spacecraft. The tether line that connects you to your craft suddenly breaks. You are now floating at rest with respect to your spacecraft at a distance of around 10 feet. Now, if you do nothing to rectify your situation, you will forever remain 10 feet away from your craft. But luckily, you have one item that you can detach from your spacesuit, and that's a five kilogram hammer. At this moment in time, you and this hammer are part of an isolated system. No external forces outside of your system will affect the total momentum that you and the hammer currently possess. You and the hammer are effectively a closed system. Now the total momentum of your isolated system is simply the sum of the momenta of each object. So the momentum of the hammer plus your momentum as an astronaut will equal the total momentum in this isolated system. In this case, because you're at rest with respect to your spacecraft, your momentum is zero because your velocity is zero. And remember, momentum is simply the mass of an object multiplied by its velocity. Both you and the hammer have a zero velocity and therefore your total momentum in the initial state is zero. And the eyes here represent the momenta in the initial state. Now, if you position yourself so that your back is to the craft and you throw the hammer as hard as you can away from you in this direction, the hammer gains momentum in the direction you throw it. But according to the principle of the conservation of momentum, the total momentum of the system must remain what it was in the initial state. In other words, the total momentum of your isolated system remains constant between the initial state and the final state. So let's draw the final state. So to balance the momentum gained by the hammer, the astronaut must gain equal amount of momentum in the opposite direction. This results in you moving towards the spacecraft. So we can write the conservation of momentum mathematically like this. So for an isolated system that only contains two objects, the total initial momentum is going to equal the total final momentum. So let's add some real values to this astronaut problem here. So the mass of our hammer is equal to 5.0 kilograms. And let's say the mass of our astronaut is equal to 90 kilograms. Now the initial velocity of the hammer and astronaut is zero meters per second. And let's say in our final state, you're able to throw the hammer at 10 meters per second in this direction. Now, considering that the momentum is conserved from the initial to the final state, what would be the speed of the astronaut moving backwards? Well, we need to remember that velocity is a vector, which means that it has both magnitude and direction. So let's say that this direction here is the positive direction and that anything moving with a velocity in this direction is negative has a negative velocity. So our hammer here, moving at 10 meters per second in this direction, has a positive value. So you as the astronaut is going to have a negative velocity. So let's plug in these values into our equation here. 
So we have the mass of the hammer multiplied by its initial velocity at zero meters per second, plus the mass of the astronaut, 90 kilograms, multiplied by the astronaut's velocity at zero meters per second. And this is going to equal the sum of the final momentum. So the mass of the hammer, 5.0 kilograms, multiplied by 10 meters per second, plus the mass of the astronaut, multiplied by some unknown velocity. So we know that the total initial momentum is zero. So this side of the equation is zero. We can minus both sides of the equation by this sum here, this momentum here. So we get a negative 50 kilograms meters per second, which is equal to 90 kilograms multiplied by our final astronaut velocity. Let's divide both sides of the equation by 90 kilograms. When we sum this up together, our astronaut's velocity is equal to a negative 0.56 meters per second. This means that when we throw this hammer at 10 meters per second, due to the principle of conservation of momentum, we know that our astronaut is going to be propelled backwards at 0.56 meters per second.